We have another example on the board. We have given angle A, which is acute angle, and we have given opposite side to angle A, and we have given adjacent side to angle A. Now, because our angle is acute, the very first thing which we're supposed to do is supposed to find the altitude of the triangle. Remember, we're supposed to always draw the altitude to the side which is not given. In our case, side B is not given. That's why I'm going to draw altitude to side B. And this is right angle over here. Okay, I'm going to call this angle D. So what I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to find the length of altitude. Now, please notice that we have given side C and we have given angle A. So we can use sine of angle A to find the length of H. So I have sine of angle A is equal H over C. In order to find h, I have to multiply both sides of my formula by the denominator, by c. c and c will cancel out and I have h is equal c times sine of angle a, where c is equal 116 meters times sine of angle a, which is equal 28 degrees. Use the calculator and you're supposed to get H equals 54.45 meters. This is the length of altitude. Let me remind you that if we have given two sides, one of them is opposite to the angle and another one is the adjacent to the given angle, and the angle is acute, we're supposed to expect like three kind of solution. We, have, we can have one solution, means from the given data we can build only one triangle. From the given data we can build two triangles, this is the second solution, or we cannot build triangle at all. So in order to find out how many solutions we are going to have, let's check the length of the given sides and the altitude. Please notice that side A is less than altitude. So it means that we have no solution. The triangle cannot be formed. What I mean by that? Let's take a look at the picture. H is longer than side A. So it means that side A is shorter than, than H, okay? So it means that if I'm going to move side A, let's say in this direction, counterclockwise, I'm never going to reach the point where this line, I mean this side, is going to touch side B. Okay, so it means that I cannot make the triangle. Remember, you cannot change the angle, so angle must stay always the same. So you cannot just uh, change the angle and say, oh, I'm going to make the triangle. You have to make sure that, that this side by itself is going to touch side B. In our case, it, it is never going to touch it, that's why we say that the triangle cannot be formed. The problem has no solution. But let's verify this one more time, uh, this statement by using the law of sines. So I'm going to write A over sine of A is equal C over sine C. One more time. We're supposed to use the data which is given, okay? So I have given side A, I have given angle A, and I have given side C, because many students ask why you use C over sine C. Because C 
is given. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to solve this formula for sine of angle C. I have to cross multiply and I have C sine of angle A is equal A sine of angle C. I'm looking for sine of angle C. That's why I'm going to divide both sides of my formula by A. A and A will cancel out and I end up with sine of angle C is equal side C times sine of angle A over side A. And I have side C is equal 100 16 meters sine of angle A which is equal 28 degrees over side A which is equal 45.7 meters meter and meter will cancel out and we have sine of angle C equal 1.19 of course you're supposed to use the calculator. Now please notice that sine of angle C we got equal 1.19. You're supposed to remember that the sine of any angle is supposed to have value always greater or equal to negative 1 less or equal to 1. We got value 1.19. So we are out of this range. So it means that the problem has no solution.